Good morning, YouTube. This is Scott with InsideTheCurve.com. Back with another uh, Fusion 360 for woodworking tutorial. Uh, this question comes from the uh, last video I finally put out a while back on uh, making mortises in Fusion 360. Uh, subscriber Jordan Becker had a uh, question on how to make angled mortises. Uh, this is something I've never done before, so it took me a minute to figure out the most efficient way to do it, which I'm sure there's might even be a better way to do it. But this is what I came up with for him. Uh, so we can compare ideas. There's more than one way to do things in Fusion 360. So let's get right into it. So we'll start by making a new uh, new sketch or design here. I'm going to start out with a rectangle and draw it on the top plane. I'm just going to get to some random dimensions here. Uh, make that two inches. Enter uh, six inches long. Enter. Now I want to put a 45 on here. The tab order 45 degrees. Tab back over and see we have that lock down there. That means that we're locked in at 45 degrees. We want it to go all the way over here. Okay. Stop sketch. Uh, Q, pulls up, press pull, uh, I'll make that go up two inches, enter, okay, so now we have our angled side, let's go ahead and create our other piece of wood here on the top plane, draw that over here, uh, it's kind of the same dimensions here. Two inches. Ta enter by six. Enter. Um, zoom out a little bit. Extrude this up. Two inches. Okay. So now we got our theoretically our two pieces of wood there so now uh, we want to get this angle into the side of that so one of my favorite tools and uh, I don't know if it's a favorite tool but it's just a very useful tool is the align tool in uh, Fusion so when I hit S brings up a little shortcut menu and give it a second uh, model shortcuts A align and we want to select when you hover over the face, you get the center point. So we want that center to come over to here. Now we can see it flipped it at a weird angle there. Before we close that out, we can hit angle here, and it gets it more in line there. Hit OK on that. So now, basically, if you were just want, no, not worried about the mortises, that would be your piece there at your uh, miter joint, but we're going to go ahead and do the full mortise and tendon on this. So now, open up our bodies Open up our uh, bodies in the tree over here, turn off that body, body 2, and we're going to hit O, yep, O for offset. Select our outside here, we'll just take that into, uh, say, half an inch, done. Okay, now we want to extrude this, we want our tenon to go into our mortise, uh, we'll say an inch, select that, pull it out, it's got the join, we'll leave it a join there, uh, one inch, done, turn our body back on, and then we'll come up here to the drop down, combine so we want a target body this is our target body and then we're going to use this as a tool because we want to cut away in there so we'll select this and now we can turn off body two oh, wrong one body one and we can see that cut it in there and that's basically how I would make a uh, 
angled mortars there for Jordan Becker, and we appreciate the comment. Uh, for anybody that's needing any specific tutorials on anything in Fusion 360, I'd be more than happy to make them. Uh, if you got any any kind of value from this video, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps us grow and keeps me motivated to keep making videos. I went through a little bit of a hiatus of creating videos, but I'm really going to get after it here and start making a lot of woodworking videos, uh, fusion videos, and if there's any kind of projects you want to see, be sure to comment down below, and we'll get those quick, out quickly as we can. Thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you then.